Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about spherical bearings or self-aligning bearings. Now, as you can see in front of me, we have three different types of bearing. This is with rollers, so spherical roller bearings. This is with balls, spherical ball bearings or self-aligning ball bearings. And this is a plain bearing. Now, what is common are all these three bearings that they can take misalignment. And this is the beauty of this bearing, like while rotating, it can take any misalignment on the shaft. Now, obviously, a spherical, uh, a spherical roller bearing can take way heavier loads. As you can see, it's having two rollers and a ball bearing can take moderate loads as, as it is ball bearings. Now, if you look at what makes a plane bearing special, it doesn't have any rolling element. It actually uh, does not have any, any elements inside or rolling element. It it's glides against each other. If we look at uh, the uh, different application, we can have different cages. We can have brass cage, steel cage, and we can have, in some cases, polymate cage. And we can have a split cage, like two pieces of cage, and we can have a one piece of cage. Now, common application would be, uh, like for, for example, for the spherical roller bearing, could be anything from cement, crusher, mining. Here, you can have the, like agricultural bearings and uh, where we don't have a lot of speed and rotation and heavy load, and we need a, a, a longer or larger angular of misalignment, this is a good bearing. Now, clearance is important. They can come in uh, normal clearance, C3 and C4, and some uh, spherical bearings can come with also sealing to, to protect the bearing from contamination and outside pollution. This is about spherical roller bearings. Thank you for today and see you next time.